Hey Abduzari, Puerto Rican 88 here. Today I'm going to show you how to redo your numbers while you're upgrading your train's 2004 version into a 2006 version, which I guess some people know, or everybody knows. Okay, let's get started. Shall we? First off, what you want to do is, uh, well, select the train you want that you just uh, recently cloned. Well, I forgot to say that. Clone your trains first if you want to make it into your own. And afterwards, um, once you've done that, select the train you want to add. Add an explorer. Okay. Go into body file, of course. Alright. Now, a lot of trains have different body files and the textures. So you're going to have to find the right, um, you know, the, the train's body on the side. So that way you can uh, type it in or make your own running numbers. So, like for instance, this is an R33. And that's the body of the, the car, the car side. And you see? That's the running number I did. 19, I mean 9015, and over there as well. Yeah, because this is the front of the car, that's the back of the car. Yeah, well. Yeah, it's quite simple. Just look for the right body file, body textures, like for the side of the car, so you could put your own running numbers. And then, of course, in the last vid, of course, everybody knows how to do indicators now since I showed them, showed them how to do it. Yeah, so. But for this one, it's car size, how to do your own running numbers. Okay. Once you're done with that, commit the file. Well, I'm just going to revert. And then once you're done renaming your trains into, into a number, Clone another train, and then go to Edit Explorer again. Once you clone another train, go into the same file. Well, car size or you know body textures or however, and then just um, rename your numbers here again, whatever you want. Then once you're done with that you know, painting painting your train or renumbering. Just um okay, well we'll exit and commit the file again. Well Alright. This is what I'm explaining. A lot of these clones I did just to rename the number of the trains. And of course give it its own personal number. What is it I kept you see all of these? These are a lot of World's Fair that I cloned from numbers R, well, 9311 to 9321. Because on the 7 train is an 11 car set. Or 10. And of course, this is at the museum, 9327. And these other cars that are running on train on, of many colors, I did those too. So it's quite simple, you know painting and redoing your own numbers is that you have to create a lot of clones in order to renumber your trains like for instance of course A cabs B cabs like the R185 similar to the R142 as well and of course um, I suggest if uh, if anyone wants to do this, uh, clone a lot of trains and redo renumbering. Well, there's your chance. You could open it with Content Creator Plus to check. You know to see you know if you have the paintings right. Once you save it first, and then refresh the Content Creator Plus. So that way you could check where the running numbers are again, or however, or any painting. For instance, I'm going, well, of course, in one of the bodies, however, 
a lot of different trains have different body texture types that you have to find the right one and then do the numbers save it and commit clone clone another one start renumbering and then you're finished all of that all of these I did all right and then afterwards once you're done with that um, I suggest create a file and then save all these trains if you want so that way you have your own um, you know set of cars as an 11 car set 10 car set or whatever subway trains or however just look for the right uh, body texture file that that could be you know for the size of the front and then use content creator plus to check your trains you know while you start repainting and do n running numbers Of course, uh, I was going to make some other um, arrangements for the uh, R46. I'm going to turn it into something, but i got to find the right body files. You know, so that way I can put the numbers up. And then start cloning and cloning and cloning. Put some other numbers. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a little simple, almost like... Uh, like the other vids or something like that well you get the whole idea alright this is for uh, nickel 15 yeah I'm giving you this update in case you update your trains or start cloning yeah this is um, a little update for you and for I guess uh, Allen 65 I might give you this um, this uh, help guide as well which is uh, on video now on how to do this and of course, uh, the Panda Train 7, I've seen your trains since they're repainted with the running numbers. Yeah, I figured that because you didn't clone your trains or, you know, use Content Creator Plus to uh, update it. Because that would have messed up the door sounds and the running numbers would disappear. Okay. Hope this helps for the um, train simulator uh, people. Adiós.